QR codes have proven to be an effective marketing tool. They've helped many brands grow and boost sales. So with QR Tiger, you can achieve this and more. Stay tuned and we'll show you how. Feeling let down by your QR code marketing campaigns? Customers complaining about unresponsive QR codes when scanning? Have won too many QR codes on a poster? You might have missed some details in using QR codes the right way. No worries though. This video will talk about QR code best practices for marketing and how following these guidelines can lead to more successful campaigns. Let's dive in. Number 1. Use dynamic QR codes. There are two types of QR codes. Static and dynamic. Static QR codes are fixed and you can't edit the URL after you've printed the QR code. Dynamic QR codes on the other hand, are the flexible type and your best bet for marketing. You can set up a QR code tracking system to track the number of scans, when the user scans, their location, and the user's device type. Number 2. Double check the link or file you'll embed on the QR code. Make sure that you're embedding the correct link on your QR codes. You don't want it to lead to the wrong page, making you lose sales opportunities. If you did end up putting in the wrong link or having a typo, it will be easier to edit if you used a dynamic QR code. Number 3. Customize your QR codes the right way. Keep in mind the rule of thumb when customizing your QR code's colors, the foreground should always be darker than the background. This is to ensure that your QR codes are scannable on any device and lighting condition. Number 4. Make sure you prepare your company logo when generating a QR code. Adding a logo in your QR code is good not only for brand recall, but can also increase scans. QR Tiger easily lets you generate QR codes with your logo, so you can have your branding all over your codes. Number 5. Add a call to action with your QR code. A call to action or CTA is placed to catch your customer's attention and make them want to scan your post. To do this, you'll need to strategically place the QR code on your print media and add the QR code with an inviting CTA. Number 6. Download a high-quality copy of your QR code. We suggest that you download your QR codes in SVG format. It allows you to adjust your QR code to different sizes without affecting the image's quality. You don't want to print out copies of a blurry QR code that's hard to scan. Number 7. Never forget to do a test scan. Before deploying your QR codes out into the world, you'll first need to do a test scan. This is to ensure the success of your campaign. Always check for errors so your customers will have a smooth journey towards your conversion page or promo page. Number 8. Placement is key. When people see your QR code, can they easily scan it? Consider the placement of the QR code on your print media or merchandise. If your QR code is on a poster, aim to place it at eye level so customers can easily see it. Avoid placing your QR codes in hard-to-reach areas or sketchy places that make people think twice about scanning it. Number 9. Make sure the QR code looks like a QR code, otherwise people won't scan it. Many brands have made innovative versions of QR codes like Emart's Sundial QR Code and Halo's Drone QR Code. It's a good thing to incorporate QR codes in your design but make sure you're not overdoing it. If people can't recognize your QR code, how will they know when to scan it? That's it! If you want to learn more, don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell for the latest updates. You can also go to QR Tiger's website to start creating your own custom QR codes. And for further education on QR codes, click the link to our blog in the description box below. This has been David. I'll see you in the next video.